Welcome to Tuesday Tours. and we are going to take you on a beautiful tour of JP's most recent masterpiece, 2220 East Silver Palm Road. Come on, let's check it out. You are right, JP. This place is gorgeous. So coastal, open, fresh. It's exactly what people are asking us for right now. I think so. The feedback's been very positive. Dining room, for example, you know, it's wide open. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a large space. It's also intimate, but it's big enough that you can really host your entire family during the holidays. It's true. And this, you know, uh, mirrored paneled wall opens up the space, um, really lending itself to that airy kind of feel, which I think yes. complements and continues throughout the entire home. It's true, and you've got the open fixture, and it's all super open looking, but without trying too hard, right? Exactly. It's still warm. And, you know, tongue and groove wood ceiling, I think is a great detail. It's a timeless detail that lasts, it looks great, and it, it fits with the whole aura of the home. Agreed, agreed. So this, I assume, white oak flooring throughout? White oak flooring throughout. Mm -hmm. This is a seven and a quarter inch wide panel. It's throughout the entire home. So the white oak flooring comes all the way through from the entry all the way to the back and just continues that vibe. It does. You know, wood flooring is a material choice that everybody seems to love. I know they do, and it's Florida, and traditionally we don't have a lot of wood, but lately everybody wants wood. I agree. I, I really tend to lean that way in lieu of a large format porcelain or something mm -hmm. shiny or, you know, super slick looking. This is a timeless material. It works always, and yes. people do seem to love it. Speaking of love it, I have a real weakness for stone. Like, as my friends at home will tell you, this is so amazing. So you've got book match here with the long firebox. How common is this right now and so, what you're doing? I haven't seen them very much. So porcelain is a material that simulates the look of a natural stone, like wow, a calicata marble. it looks marble. just like a calicata. I was it, just about to say that. It sure does. And, and the best part about it is that you can simulate this book match look mm -hmm. and it's perfect every time with zero flaws. Yes. Plus it can wear and tear better above this heated surface. Yes. This is a, a 64 inch linear firebox, which mm -hmm. is very popular right now. You'll see it in applications like very trendy restaurants and stuff like that. Obviously it's remote controlled, which is great mm -hmm. too. And back to this, this is a great example of how the house lends itself towards some really sleek, very clean, sharp design hues, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's subdued. Yes. And it's not like you're trying too hard. Well, and the colors aren't too crazy, right? I've seen like black and white ones and stripes, but this is like gentle. It's just, it has a lot of visual interest. Well done. Here. I'm happy you like it. Good job. So just through here is our club room, right? This is the club room space. Ooh, yummy light fixtures in here, JP. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, polished brass. It's a visual comfort lighting product, mm -hmm. and I think it complements the space really well. Speaking um, of compliment, the top, your tongue and groove ceilings here completely echo the floor. 
So the use, you know, the room's super flexible. You've got these double doors over here and then the pockets on this side, which you could totally drywall. Absolutely. Making this a very flexible space. It is flexible. And that was the whole point floor plan wise. So right now it's furnished as an office. I would clearly use this as an office. And I would probably use it as a playroom for my kids. Yes. Um, and, and it's great because it's, it's, it has proximity to the rest of the house, but it's almost like a separate portion of the floor plan where informal, formal here. And as, as you move in into the club room space, mm -hmm. this is another flexible space. Wow, it's a lot of natural light too without being overwhelming. Everybody wants floor to ceiling. This is the jam, you have to have this. Tell me about the sliders. So indoor, outdoor living, I think is one of the most important things when designing or building a new home. Mm -hmm. And you know, these 10 foot sliders and this very wide open span gives you the sense that the outside is part of the inside. Absolutely. So this is a company called ES Elite. Okay. And it's probably not what you're used to see. No, it's not, I love it. And the nice part about this window is the frames are actually a lot thinner than a PGT product. Yeah, and sure. I mean, mine are, mine are pretty wide, actually. This lets in a lot more light. And they open and close with one finger. So one very, finger? very soft. That's it. On one, the let's slide. go, one finger. One finger? Pick your finger. Whose finger? Uh, I'll, I'll volunteer. Okay, you have 10 of them. Pick one. <laughs> okay, but once it gets going, but once it gets going. It's actually a shame to close the door on this beautiful yard, but we'll be back to it, right? But on a serious note, do you think Blair will teach me to dance? She can, she can. <laughs> I could use some help with my moves. Nice bar. Thank you. So the bar position, I think, is great. I agree. It's open. And everybody tends to gravitate towards the kitchen, typically, for socializing. It's true. But this gives you the ability to use the living room, which mm -hmm. a lot of times gets neglected. Mine gets forgotten. And you get to hang out and enjoy both spaces. Mm -hmm. And it's a good gathering spot. And these wine columns. Gorgeous. The nice thing about them is you can have one column for white and uh -huh. one column for red at the proper temperature. Dual zone. Instead of having one wine room and having everything at one temperature, which really isn't appropriate Not for red appropriate. or white. No, I mean, there's nothing like, like super ice cold red to kill a party. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So one of the things that really struck me about this kitchen, JP, is the use of this soft gray color instead of that like stark bright white that everybody's doing right now. This so is a great idea. It's a custom color. I see. So obviously the open kitchen to the family and breakfast area is virtually a requirement. You continued the theme though throughout with the ship lap and even the drapery pocket is a like. Correct, so motorized shades, ability for motorized shades. The home has a complete home automation system and that's just one cool feature that would be part of that. Okay, I totally wasn't listening because I'm distracted by this gorgeous backyard, but I'm sure whatever you said was good. Come it on. It was just a random thought that I threw out there. <laughs> from up here, the landscaping and everything, but what's catching my eye are these gutters, JP. Yeah, copper gutters, it's the real deal. No aluminum here and it's an awesome exterior architectural detail. It is, you it don't just see carries it the often. theme. No, you don't. It's amazing how many very expensive, beautiful homes we see in the neighborhood with extruded aluminum. It's one of those details that gets overlooked, but certain people recognize it and they see the value in it and they can see how it's different. Like a builder like you, hello, all right. I want to check this master bedroom out. So we're continuing the theme in the master suite with the ship lap, but then you have an added element here. So the box beams. Yes. And volume. And volume. So you have this great vaulted ceiling in your master bedroom, which is makes it light and airy. It Tons does. of windows. Even on a somewhat not sunny South Florida day, it still feels 
very yeah. airy. And, and it's nice. tough on the second floor, right? Because we have certain height restrictions in Boca Raton, but everybody's like, I want super high ceilings. And so you've accomplished it. You have your drapery pockets. Everything's really well thought out and meticulously done. Motorized shades as well and full home automation system. Everything is controllable. Mm -hmm. And um, bathrooms, his and hers. Oh, I saw. Speaking of which, I am so into this tile that you used in the hers bath. The color is subtle, but it is definitely a marine blue. It's gentle, like you have the gray blue wallpaper and it's so not over the top, but it's suggestive of, you know, we are really close to the ocean. So all of the flooring in the bathrooms is marble, mm -hmm. real marble, there's no porcelain. Yes. Uh, everything is marble. And this little inlay detail gives it that pop of color. Mm -hmm. It's still feminine, even though it's that bluish gray feel. And um, we've gotten a lot of compliments from this. I'm positive now. you have. And then even the his side, it's it's masculine, right? But it's soft. Like you didn't go for oh dark roasted espresso cabinets. Like this is gentle, and you even brought in that same white oak, but it's a little more in the dark gray family. It is, and you know it, it does feel masculine, like you said, but it's not trying too hard no, to feel it masculine. Isn't and the fixtures are all parent and row. They're made in London, mm. in the Mayfair district, not in China, everything's handmade. These are something that I feel is, is very enduring style-wise and um, always look great. It's classic, really classic. And the, I think the person who is gonna buy this house ultimately is gonna appreciate all those details that we talked about. Another thing that's not so super typical, but the, the toilets in the master bathrooms his and hers are all smart toilets. Mm. Okay, so they're no touch. Gotcha. You approach them, they open, they flush by themselves, they have a bidet feature that's nice, and they also have a wall mounted Bluetooth remote. You want to try it? The urinal? <laughs> okay, so. It's like a hat box. The other cool thing is they have an LED light. Do you so have Tetris it, on this? Uh, not Tetris, Super Mario Brothers. But it's cool because it's a nightlight as well. So it's if you wake up this in the middle is? of the night, the toilet has its own LED nightlight. Oh, how cool. Yeah, so it, it serves a couple functions, separate from being pretty cool technology-wise. Awesome, wise. Yeah. I love that. So JP, this is normally the part in the show where we say goodbye to our friends and we thank them for watching, yeah. but there's another room we don't normally show Good. on was, Tuesday tours. I was hoping you weren't gonna forget. Are about you that thinking one. what I'm thinking? I definitely know what okay. you're talking about. Not that it's my favorite room to spend time in in my own house, but this is the single most gorgeous laundry room I've ever seen. No hedge whatsoever. So that's the whole point. You know, laundry rooms are spaces that get neglected. It's true. Oftentimes. I mean, mine does. That's for sure. But if you can make it into a design forward space that you want to go to and you want to be in, because we all use laundry rooms. Well, it's true. And look, you did inset cabinets, right? This is like the highest grade of cabinetry that you can do. And you've done a designer color. This is another custom color, right? So you've got that sort of navy feel, this gorgeous tile. I mean, even this down to the sink, right. right? This isn't like an afterthought, you know, for doing some washing and whatever. This is almost too pretty to use for utility. And I am nothing, so impressed. Nothing is utilitarian. The no. plumbing fixture is a designer I mean, fixture. I've seen homes in this price range with what you used on the walls and the backsplash, like in the master showers. Correct. I mean, this is so exceptionally well done. And the flooring material is very remarkable as well. Yes. You know, it, it, I think it. Uh, this, this bathroom is actually insta-famous. It is. It's all over Instagram. I'm sure everybody who visits the house is like, I have to do this bathroom. People love it. Um, you know, I, I would love to take all the credit for it, but really a lot of the ideas and, and things that we use in here come from our interior designer. And like I said, this has been all over social media and Instagram, and this is almost a, a, a famous laundry room, if you will. Well, this shot right here, boom, of the like sink, light fixtures, the backsplash, and then being able to see out to the palm trees, nothing short of exceptional. Well, thank you. Really Thanks well done. So everyone, this is the first time and maybe the last time you'll ever see a laundry room on Tuesday tours. So I'm here with JP Demisa, who built this beautiful house and took us on the tour today. Thanks again, JP, for joining us. Well, thanks for inviting me. It was Absolutely. a lot of fun. Absolutely, it was a lot of fun. 
All right, I'm Rochelle Cavalier, bringing you the very best of Boca Raton luxury real estate. See you next time. It's a thing. You know, I'm limited in number of moves I have, so don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Right over here there's a button that says subscribe. Pretty self-explanatory. Hit that button, subscribe, and just next door there's a bell. Click that as well and you will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. We have the series Tuesday Tours, we have Boca 360, and all sorts of market reports and other useful information for you about the Boca Raton luxury real estate market. If you have a few minutes, I hope you'll stick around and check out a couple more of my videos. After all, I made them for you. Right here, it's a Tuesday Tours episode, and just here, a market report. I'm Rochelle Cavalier, bringing you the very best of Boca Raton luxury real estate. Hope to see you soon.